Let's say we don't like koalas anymore and we want to replace them with goats in our list here. Now we've noticed that someone has got a bit carried away with their koala love and has added some extra comments into the koala cell. And all we want to do is replace koalas, stop koala time, caramella koala, groovy koala and all the other koalas just with the word goat. How do we go about this in Google Apps Scripts? Now you can see I've got some starter script here. You can find the starter sheet to this as a link in the description below. So go ahead and grab that, open it up, go to extensions and click on Apps Scripts and you'll see this uh, script here. So let's dive in from here. So I've already put in the main constant variables here to save a bit of time, but uh, let's go ahead and make some modifications to our function now. First thing we want to do is change the name of our function to something more logical, perhaps find and replace underscore, and then we'll say entire cell. I think that's fairly descriptive. We can't just do a simple replace with all like we've done in previous tutorials because all that's going to do is replace the koala in each of the cells, where in fact we want to re replace the entire cell with goat. So to manage this, we can use some regular expressions. So let's make a variable called regex for regular expression. And we're going to create a regular expression in some backticks here. So these are not a single quotation, these are backticks. And what we're going to do, because JavaScript uses uh, regex2, we can set some modifiers at the start inside some rounded brackets. So first I'm going to set a modifier called m. And that means we can look at multiple lines. And then I'm also going to create one called S for a single line. So we want to make sure that everything matches a single line as well. And we're going to put a question mark at the front. And this matches the previous token between zero and one as many times as possible. Okay, so now we've set where we want to look inside the cell. We can now create a start point, which we create the start of the line with a, a carrot or a little up arrow and then we want to open up some rounded braces. Now rounded braces means that you want to capture everything inside the rounded braces and return it. So if I put in one dot star this means that the dot or the decimal point here means that we want to match any character and the star here means that we want to match the previous token between zero and unlimited times. So basically we want to match any character for an unlimited amount of times in front of something. And then we want to make sure it also has somewhere in the text, our search text. So if there's something in front of Koala, for example, Caramello, that will capture this Caramello in the space here, but also will capture the Koala. But if we've got something like stop Koala time here, it's going to capture the stop exclamation mark space Koala, but it's not going to capture the space time exclamation mark. So we need to handle for that as well. And we're going to do the same thing again. We'll put a period in and then a star to catch an unlimited amount of characters on the other side of it. Great, so now we can create another constant variable to grab our spreadsheet, spreadsheet app, get active spreadsheet. we will say const, we'll get our sheet now. Spreadsheet equals get sheet by name. And that's going to be our sheet name here. Copy that, paste that in. Then we want our range. And our range is equal to our sheet dot get range. And then our range lock here. Now we can grab the range and we can do some chaining. So first thing we need to build is our create text finder. So create text finder. And that's going to take a regex this time, not the search text. So I'm going to select that and whack that in here. And we also want to make sure that we're matching the entire cell. So match entire cell here. And we're going to set that to true. Now, because we are 
inputting a regular expression, we need to let the text finder know that we are doing so. So we need to say use regular expression and set that to true. And now we can say replace all with, and then our replacement string, which is replace text here. Let's hit save and let's go ahead and run it. And now you can see that everything that had koala in the cell has now just re been replaced with goat. So far. Done. Well, hopefully the regular expression wasn't too intimidating for you. Up next, we're going to finally replace with a counter. So every time we find goat, for example, we want to add a leading number to it. So one, two, one goat, two goat, three goat, four goat, etc. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that like button. And if you want to get a notification of when the next tutorial comes out, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Until next time.